Hey YouTube family, it's your girl Mel. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Okay, so if you click on this video, you want to know why a brush would cost 40 plus dollars. You want to know why? You want to see if there's a real difference. Well, I am here to show you guys the Denman brush, which is retailing at about $41 with tax, okay? And then I have the knockoff version that you get from any beauty supply store for about $7.99, guys. So we kind of want to see what is the difference. I've been rocking out with this knockoff brush for years now. As you guys can see, the bristles been going through a lot. Been going through a lot, been going through a lot. And this is brand new. Um, basically, never really opened it. This is kind of how it came, but whatever. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the difference between the two brushes. So first, before I even get into the video of styling my hair, um, my hair is freshly washed and freshly deep conditioned and steamed. I have a review coming up about this amazing steamer that I've been using on my low porosity hair and it's been really, really helping me retain moisture in this cold ass weather. But that's another video for another time. So I'm just gonna talk about the basic differences, like the aesthetic differences and the visual differences of this brush. So this is the packaging that the Demon brush comes in. This, you know, come with a little tag on it that says $7.99. That's it. The Diana version, whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this for the first time. It's only in styling, blah, blah, blah. Ooh. All right, okay. First of all, hmm, definitely heavier. Definitely heavier and not like this weird plastic feeling. This one, it says made in China. This one says made in the UK. Okay, so I don't know if, hmm, I don't know if you guys could see that. The, bristle, the bristles are kind of spaced the same. They both have nine rows. Um, the bristles on this are a little sharper. So like if you were to scratch it on your skin, it definitely would leave a mark versus this one doesn't. Definitely sharper, definitely sturdier. Um, as far as it's sliding out, <laughs> this one is really hard to slide out. This one is very easy to slide out. I've slid it out so many times. As you can see, I just slide it up. This one, not so much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, both have nine. So I'm going to spin around the brushes that you guys see the backs and how they differ in that way. The actual Denman brush is a little bit longer. It's a better grip because it's longer. It's giving me, you see that versus this, right? It's giving me more control. Um, Yeah, and as far as Visual and physical, that is the differences that I can see. Like I said, I've used this multiple times, so it has a little bit of hair in it, a little messy, you know. This one is brand new out the package. And let me, this one has like a, this one on the bottom, which is the knockoff, has a shiny finish. This one at the top has a matte finish. All right, so I am going to first apply leave-in conditioner and detangle my hair. I'm gonna do that off screen. I will not be detangling my hair with either one of these brushes. I'm gonna be using my finger, fingers and I'm gonna use these brushes to style my wash and go. I'm gonna use a diamond brush on one side and knockoff brush on the other side. And once it dries, I'm gonna, we're gonna see the difference, if there's any difference. And I'm also gonna like talk to you guys a little bit about how the styling process was which with each so i'll see you in a few once my hair is um moisturized and ready to rumble all right guys i am back i finished um moisturizing my hair using the lco method and part section off to how i'm going to style it so i also went ahead and just shaped up my sides a little bit down here because down here it was growing out way faster than up here and it's making the tapered look look a little crazy. So yeah, now I'm ready to go ahead and start styling my hair. This is how the back looks, everything. Like I am like wanting to cut my hair so bad, but I wanted to grow out so bad as well. So like 
I'm in between a rock and a hard place, y'all. So I definitely just, you know, shaped up right here because that's the place that I feel like if this is long, it looks stupid. So, y'all know I'm using my favorite styler, the Uncle Funky's Curly Magic Curl Stimulator and water lots and lots and lots of water when using the uncle funkies you want to make sure that your hair is super saturated so what i'm going to do is um do this side with the knockoff brush and this side with the denman brush so um let me just give you a little bit warning my hair is different all over my head so we also want to keep that in mind when we're checking the results of how this versus this goes okay so i am going to first start styling with the knockoff brush and dripping hair is like i said the best hair to work on my hair might look a little white. I don't know if you guys could tell on camera, but that does not show up when I apply the styler and it dries. So basically what I do with the Denman brush is I use it to kind of form form my curls and then I may pluck out a little piece that was formed by the Denman brush and go ahead and just swirl it around my fingers. Nothing crazy and I try, because this side is so short, it literally may take forever to swirl around my fingers so I just do parts that kind of like pop out to me if that makes sense but the brushes help me mold my curls so that I can see which curls are the ones that need maybe a little extra help by the finger coiling so that's what we got so far from the knockoff brush I can't say I'm happy or sad about that is because this is the brush I've always been using so it is what it is and if it gets a little dry you just add a little bit more water and just keep working I'm also going to clip off the back half of my hair because my hair is going to be straight down the middle with different the different brush. So even the back too. All right, so one side is practically finished and now I'm going to move to the other side while using the actual real Denman brush. I'll definitely say that this brush pulls on my hair smoother without any like um like 
like nyx i don't know if that makes sense like sometimes when i'm using the other brush it feels like it's like pulling on a specific strand of my hair and it kind of hurts this one has a lot less nyx it's way smoother I don't know if you guys can see that it really curls the ends. Whoa. Yo, this thing moves through my hair like butter. And look, no hair is in here. Versus this have a little hair in there. As, as though it's like pulling on my hair. I can't really see what's going on in the back there. But um... Yeah, it is what it is. I didn't do too much finger coils in the back. Maybe like two or three to the areas that may struggle with the finding, but nothing crazy. Okay, so the back and the sides are like, I don't know. I'm not, I don't put too much into them because they're so short. They usually figure out how to, you know, um, define themselves in a way. But after putting product on it, but I'm just going to show you. That's one side. And that's the side of the knockoff brush pretty right and that's the side of the $40 Denman brush pretty too but let's see how it dries all right so now I am going to work on the back of my head and that's kind of hard to show on camera uh, So I'm just gonna work on the back of my head. I this these two pieces here, I'm gonna divide down the middle and you guys are gonna see, but the back, I think I'm just gonna use the real Denman brush and just do the back because I'm not really, I don't get too focused on the back because it's where I sleep on it. It gets frizzy faster than any place and it's more shrinkage back there and it's a lot coarser in the back of my hair, like back here. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna cut this down the middle and we're gonna do one side knockoff, one side real. And then you'll be able to see from this side and this side, what is the difference. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I did the back. I don't know if you guys could see it, whatever. But this is the moment we all been waiting for. Okay, I am going to split this chunk of my longest hair down the middle. So I'm gonna use a comb. See that? My scalp looks so healthy and clean. Yes. Us low porosity girls got to keep that scalp free of buildup. Okay, so again, to review, this side is gonna be the knockoff one, this side is going to be the real Denman brush. So I'm gonna start with the knockoff brush and I'm going to do my hair in sections. And I am not going to do any finger coiling. I'm so nervous because when I do wash and goes, I always do finger coiling. That's how I get my best definition, but I might do a little finger coiling on both sides, a little, a little, excuse me, but we'll see. All right, so 
here we go. So I'm going against doing the finger coils. Wish this thing will focus. Oh, there we go. Just so you guys can see the actual true use of <laughs> these brushes. So I am not going to finger coil. Okay, so that is the side of the knockoff brush that I've always been using, and that's what I got going on. So now I'm going to go ahead and move to the other side using the Denman brush. I'm going to grab a small little duck clip so that I may clip it off to the side so nothing doesn't get caught up in the mix. Okay, guys, so I'm going to do it like that. All right, so because I started off the first row of this other hair with it being finger coiled, I'm going to do it to this side as well. And also this side has, I don't know what's wrong with this side of my hair. I've always experienced more frizz, harder to um, define than any other part of my hair. As you can see, it's like not even curling up that much it's the curl pattern on this is just crazy loose like almost straight and i have no idea why this side is gets just as much attention as the other side it gets deep conditioner like the other side and no heat damage it's been cut and trimmed and still it's like straggly but whatever 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 we're gonna move on. Cause like I said, this part of my hair is way healthier 
than the front. So let me see if I can do that slower. Yeah. All right. Like I said, this part always gives me so much trouble. This like piece right here. I'm gonna just finger coil this piece in hopes of it remaining curly. I don't know if you guys could see a difference in the two sides. I mean, I see it. <laughs> and it's gonna make me tight because of what I've spent. So. We'll see. I'm going to allow my hair to dry about maybe 50% of the way and then I'm going to take the Denman brush, not the Denman brush, the diffuser to it. It said that you should always allow your hair to dry before putting the diffuser because diffusers can sometimes cause frizz. So I will see you guys when I reach the 50% mark. Hey guys, so my hair is pretty much mostly dry. The roots are definitely still wet. And I do not see a difference in the use of the two brushes. This side is a little longer, elongated. This is the side where I use the Denman brush on. And you guys could like kind of see that while my hair has been cut to both to be even. So I don't know why it looks like this. But like I said before, this side of my hair really has a hard time curling up. I have no idea why. Just they both get the same treatment, but this is just what I'm working with. So let me. All right, guys. So I don't know if y'all can see a difference, but I definitely cannot. Um, I like my hair when I finger coil it better. So I'm going to do that moving forward. But my curls are still popping. But not as popping as they could be if I were to finger quilt the sections. Uh, the sides of my hair are good. I'm not too fussy about the sides in the back. But this part up here I need to be a one. Alright. So um, moral of the story. Save your money. You don't need that $40 brush. Save your money. Save your money. Save your money. Because the $8.99 brush and the $40 brush do the same thing. That's what it's looking like. Not only am I just disappointed about the brush, but I'm also disappointed that just using the brush didn't turn out the way I wanted it to because I was like, yo, I could cut off so much time off of like styling my hair, but sorry, you guys, girls tired, been studying while waiting for this hair to dry, but yeah, save your money, both do the same exact thing okay maybe the expensive brush is more durable because the cheap brush that thing is going to hell <laughs> and yeah so maybe that's it but otherwise like styling wise i don't really see a difference if you guys do see a difference go ahead and let me know down in the comments but girl i don't see nothing and i'm kind of annoyed but it's okay I'll let it, I'll figure it out with what I'm gonna do with my hair. I wish I would have finger coiled it like I usually do, but for the sake of this video, I want to do this for you guys out there that's thinking if you should buy that expensive brush or you should just stick with your little beauty supply store brush. But yeah, you heard it here first. Maybe not first, I don't know, but you heard it here that it's definitely not worth the money. Um, the knockoff brushes do the same thing. 
and yeah that's it so thank you guys for tuning in if you have not subscribed already go ahead and click that subscribe button thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye